My name is Chris Barnhart. I'm with Cherokee Nation's Natural Resources. I'm the Buffalo Herdsman. I've been with the Buffalo since October 9th of last year when we received the, the initial 50 head. There are 68 on the ground now, cows, calves, and bulls. When they arrived, we unloaded them off the semi the same way, um, into the same corral. We actually only held them in the corral for a day. They were pretty settled when they got out. We opened the gates and they just, you know, fed, you know, fed their way out. They were eating grass and just walked out and they've done well here. They, you know, they've, everything's worked out real, real well for them. We've had no problems at all with them. We're receiving 40 head of females, uh, yearling and two year olds from, again, from the Badlands in South Dakota through ITBC. This means that we're going to be able to grow our herd more rapidly. We, uh, you know, we'll go into having 88 breeding cows and, uh, you know, hopefully we'll have you know, a high percentage of calves from that, from all those cows and that'll, you know, increase our herd more rapidly than when we started with the 50. You know, we started this deal with the Intertribal Buffalo Council out of Rapid City, South Dakota. It has progressed rapidly. We have, uh, you know, we got our initial our initial herd last year in October. Um, we sent in a request for more buffalo about a week ago, and we found out Tuesday that we were receiving these 40 animals today. We'll bring them in. They're bringing them in on a semi. They'll be unloaded into this holding corral over here. Uh, we've, we've got hay and water for them and just give them, you know, depending on them, they're going to be younger so they're going to be a little more stirred up than the older ones we got last time. Uh, two to three days in the pen just, you know, letting them settle before we turn them out into this pasture here. You know, the heat this summer, some of them took it a little rougher. Um, there was some, some weight loss, not nothing drastic, but... Uh, you know, the heat was a little harder on them. It'll take some acclimation for that. I believe they'll do better next summer than they did this summer. 